And right now, after I tried to attempt at putting this new product into the car, it's called a solar car cooling. It, it's a fan. It's, well, it's an exhaust system for your window. It doesn't really blow a fan, but the fan blows out, and it has three modes right over there. And it's solar charger or a battery. You can see right here this part. That's okay, but this is supposed to be inside this notch right over here. This side is supposed to go on there, and this right here, I have to hot glue that back onto there because it's very cheap. As soon as I put it on inside the window, which you're not supposed to do it, it's snapped off. It's supposed to go on top of the window. Okay, you can see, I think I figure out how to do it. This is the inside. These three fans go in here, even though you don't feel the fan because it's not a fan, it's a vent. It's gonna pull the air in. So even though the air is stronger on the outside, it's pulling the hot air from the inside of the car outside. You can see here's the vent fans. You put it right here. I thought you put it on top of this part right here, which then you can't close it in the door jam. So that's no good right there. And also right here, I tried to shut the window the other day and it caused the problems. And luckily my car has a safety feature. When it gets stuck, the window goes automatically goes back down. So we're gonna try starting the car up. Hopefully there's no problems. See, that's it right there. Looks like that's it. I figured it out. Look at that. Wait, let me turn the light back on. Look at that. It's working. There's a little bit of a hole right there, but it works. And it's pretty much closed in right there. And right now, it's taking the hot air out. And unfortunately, I broke the solar panel because I didn't read the instructions. That is solar panel. Oh, there we go. That's battery. That's off for some reason. And that's solar panel. <laughs> it does barely does anything. Like the, one of the guy reviews said, I was gonna buy that one single one that I see on TV, but he said it's like this, how powerful within the sun. He said it's like a dog panting on you. Let me go outside and feel the difference. Now it's aiming at the sun right now. You can see the sun is aiming right on it and it's very weak. I don't even feel anything. That's ridiculous. It doesn't work. So it's a j joke with the, right there, but with the solar, but the, could feel with the fan the battery is right there maybe it has to charge up for a while garage and there's no light of course because of the sun and the fans turn off so i'm going to put it back in reverse and you could see instantly i'm not looking at the camera i'm backing up so it might be off but it's going to start back up again as soon as i hit the sun the solar panel see there it goes look at that as soon as it automatically detects solar panel and the sun it switches on solar panel mode Watch, instantly stops and we're in the garage now. We're almost, we're pulling in. Right now it's 2.58 and it's 88 degrees out right now. 76 degrees in here. We're gonna turn off the blower right now. We're gonna see how hot it gets. We will check in every few minutes and then we're gonna check on the ventilation fan and see how good. I put it in the shade right there because if it's in the sun, it's gonna say 15, 20 degrees warmer than it actually is. But if you're in the shade, it's a few degrees, the actual temperature, okay. 10 minutes later and it's only saying 81 degrees. 320 and it's now 85 degrees. It's slowly going up. I thought it would be at 100 by now. 3.30 and it's now 90 degrees in the car. Okay, 3.40 and it's only 92 degrees in the car. Okay, 3.50 and it's 98 degrees now in the shade. Okay, an hour later, it's now 100 degrees there on the dot. You could see in the shade. Okay, we're starting again at 76 degrees. You could see we have the vent fan in here. We're gonna turn them all on. We gunned it back and now it's, you can see it's ventilated into the window right there. You can see all along right there. Oh, there's a little bit of a gap right there. But you can see it's pretty much sealed. Okay, 20 minutes now and it's 80 degrees. This is really good. Okay, 510 and it's now 83 degrees now in the car. Okay, 40 minutes in and we're now 88. It just jumped a lot right now within the past 10 minutes. It jumped from 80 to 88, something like that, 83. You can see there's the vent fan still going. You can see the sun still, the car is still in the sun. Okay, 50 uh, minutes now, we're at 89 degrees. It only went, jumped up one degree. As long as it doesn't go up to 100 within the next 10, 20 minutes, this is a pretty good uh, feature to have on the car. Okay, we, we still have five minutes left. It's 55 past the hour since we started. And I'm putting my hand here and you could feel a lot of hot air coming out of the car. That's crazy, that's good. We want a lot of hot air coming out and keeping it stable right now. We're still at 90 degrees now. 540 and it's 92 degrees now, you can see. And in the sun, wow, it's it's 126 still. So you can see we're still getting the full heat out, 130 even maybe. 
so it's keeping the hot air out like it's supposed to but it's not cooling it like an air conditioner or a fan but it's keeping the hot air out we'll give it another 10 more minutes because it was it might the first 10 minutes might have been the thermometer wasn't stable yet it was still cooling down from the air conditioner hour 10 minutes and it's 94 degrees in the sun it's like 130. oh it still feels pretty hot it's not that good it's still very hot in here it's not really comfortable at all so you can't stay in the car with this thing running this has been running for an hour and 10 minutes see the thermometer right there it says 80 degrees right there plus or minus we're gonna turn the fan on now and we're gonna try it again now okay 10 minutes later and it's 98 degrees so so far today it's not working too well with this heat excessive heat warning up oh, 99 now 20 minutes now and we're it's 110 but these are it's a different higher today because it's in the sun i wanted to see if there was a difference between the sun and the shade 110 today right now 20 minutes in okay 30 minutes in and now it's 118 okay 40 minutes and it's now 122 so it's slowing down a little bit which is good okay it looks like about 124 right now about 50 minutes later 124 60 minutes and it's still about 125 right now didn't move within the last 10 minutes so it's gonna stay there probably it went up a little bit now it looks like it's 128 130 ish right now went up and maybe not 130 128 we'll say 80 minutes and it's it's still about 128 after 80 minutes, maybe 130. So we'll just still sit, we'll sit 129. Okay, I'm gonna go in now after testing and we're gonna see how hot it is. And oh my goodness, is it hot? <laughs> this thing is a joke, it's a toy. Ooh, I can't even sit down on the seat. That's how bad it is. This thing didn't even, I thought it was like at least gonna take the hot air out. I still feel the heat rushing out right now. It was gonna at least be able to comfortable to be sitting down, but not at all. I still have this running, the fan running, but I have the AC cranking and I had to put this down because I could not sit down even with that vent in the car. Check out my backup camera right here that I got from Hep Boys. It shows you where you go when you put it in reverse. You can see right there, that's a shed right there. And then when you put it into drive, the screen shuts off, of course, because you can't be driving with the backup camera on the, the driveway. Of course, you still got to look behind you. You can see there's a garage door right there. You can watch the garage door go down. That's pretty cool to see the garage door go down on the backup camera. You can see how good this lighting has on my backup camera. You can see there's no lights in the garage, brake lights. When I put it in reverse, it lights up the whole garage. And you can see I was kind of worried because this doesn't have night vision, but look at that. It's pretty good lighting. You can see that. Check that out. Right there, you can see the backup. It lights up the whole garage. 